Hey everyone, it's Caleb Jansen here. Thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. If you're curious about anything that's just been released on Netflix, if it's a movie, show, or series, come to my channel and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. But guys, today we're gonna to be talking about Lyft, which is the new Kevin Hart-led film, and I'm in two minds about it. I think it was very, very 50-50, but let me give you my reasons why. Ultimately, let's approach the story first. This is basically a story about a bunch of high-end thieves that like to steal art. And that's it. Ultimately, this movie revolves around a very convoluted plot to steal half a billion dollars worth of gold. And that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to spoil too much of the story for you. But I want to talk mostly about the performances because that's what's really giving me this uneasy feeling about this film. I was really expecting some top-notch performances because there are some great actors in this film. And I'm actually a huge fan of Kevin Hart. I think he's funny, but I usually enjoy his more serious roles. Like Fatherhood is my favorite role of his. I think he's a great dramatic actor. And I was hoping for a little bit more of that in this movie, but he just felt a little bit too much like stereotypical Kevin Hart. He just kept wanting to say a joke. And then they also try to sell him as an action star. And so like, <laughs> I hate to rag on a guy because of his height, but every actor was much taller than him. So trying to sell him as an action hero is a big sell. Another issue I did have with a lot of the performances and acting across the board was a lot of the actors felt like they were just reading lines. And what I mean by that is there would be these situations where two characters are conversing with one another, but there's no reactions in their faces. You can tell that these actors are just reading their scripts, listening to the other actor, then saying their line. It's just, you speak, I speak. You speak, I speak. There's absolutely no reactions and acting in between or, or dramatic pauses or anything like that. And definitely when it came to the dialogue heavy scenes, that left a lot to be desired in my opinion. In regards to cinematography, that's one of the things I definitely enjoyed the most. They had some very, very creative shots in this. And there was this very beautiful, dramatic shot that they had during another dialogue scene. And I had an issue with the dialogue, but the way it was shot was beautiful, where we had um, one of the characters in the foreground with the two characters in the background, and the focus would shift in between the characters as they speak using the mirrors. Very, very clever way to have three different characters in a medium shot, and I really, really enjoyed that. Of course, I mentioned how Kevin Hart wanted to keep making jokes throughout the movie, or they tried to write the film in such a way that would really lean into Kevin Hart's strengths as a comedic actor. The jokes were very 50-50. In fact, I found myself cringing at probably more of the jokes than I found myself laughing at them. Although there was this one joke with Sam Worthington, and I have to say, I think this was one of his best roles, because he really hammed it up to a, to a degree. So Sam Worthington was supposed to be this by the books guy who was really serious about everything, but he just really took the mickey out of every scene he was in. It was actually my favorite role of his, and so I'm quite surprised by that. And then I just want to hammer home, the final issue I had with this film was just how predictable it was. You could have written out this entire movie script just after watching the first half an hour. It is as by the numbers as any sort of con artist or elaborate heist movie could possibly be. It ticks every single cliche. But at the end of the day, I did still have a fun time watching it. So I give this about a six, six and a half out of 10, because even though the dialogue was very, very wooden, the actors really did try their best with what they had. And there were some definite moments of excitement. And, and I had a lot of fun watching certain parts of this film, but as a whole, it just never gelled well together for me. There was definitely something missing and whether that was an inconsistency with the tone of the film, whether it felt like there was never truly any stakes involved. And that's another issue I think I had with this film was the fact that they kept telling you that these stakes were so high, but you never truly felt that the characters believed that the stakes were really that high. But yes, guys, if you've watched this film, then please let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. If you haven't yet, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel for more reviews and I hope to see you again in another video.